The movie is set in the year 10,000 BC. I mean, it better be, otherwise I want my money back. And it revolves around a tribe called the Yagals. They are fearless people living in the mountains with little to no idea of the outside world. All they do is eat, sleep, procreate, and repeat. However, with the sudden climate change, their condition deteriorates. The Yagals find it very hard to hunt their only source of food, mammoths. One day, two hunters return to the village with a small girl named Evolet. It turns out out, she had been holding on to her dead mother in her village, which was attacked by invaders. Seeing her misery, the Yagal's respected elder and shaman, the old mother, decides to investigate. She touches the young girl, hoping to learn her past, but shockingly, the old mother is overwhelmed with terrifying visions of the four-legged demons, which apparently attacked Evolette's village. She also prophesizes that the same invaders will come after the Yagal's soon, and that whoever kills the leader of the demons will win both Evolet and a holy white spear, becoming the next village chief. However, the current village chief doesn't believe any of this and instead decides to take an alternative path to feed his people. So, the same night, he leaves the village before giving his best friend, Tick Tick, his white spear, asking him to protect his son, Delay. The next morning, word spreads about the chief's disappearance, and he is painted as a coward who can't protect his own village. Because of this, his son, Delay, is bullied by the other kids mercilessly. As time passes, the boy loses all his friends, and the only person who talks to him is Evolette. Since she is a loner too, they quickly bond and become inseparable. The movie then fast forwards many years into the future, where an adult Delay and Evolette eventually fall in love with each other. The hunting season has almost arrived, and the old mother tells everyone how Karen will win over Evolette, as he has become a decorated warrior of the tribe. Later, a worried Evolette approaches Delay and asks him to run away together. However, the latter is adamant on staying put and protecting his people from the demons. All of a sudden, a young boy from the tribe named Baku announces the arrival of the mammoths. And so, all the hunters get ready for battle. They chase after the giant beasts until one of them eventually gets caught in the trap. However, as the hunters approach to kill it, the mammoth suddenly gets up and flees. In the ensuing struggle, it drags some of the hunters along with it, including Delay. After a while, the mammoth finally frees itself from the net and charges at Delay. However, in a shocking turn of events, it accidentally impales itself with a spear stuck upright on the ground. The other tribe members arrive shortly after and praise Delay, believing that he killed the mammoth. As a result, the old mother hands him the white spear and also appoints him as the new chief. As the hunters drag the dead mammoth back to the village, cheers of celebration echo across the plains. But Delay feels sick with guilt. He can't accept the praise he's received for something he didn't do. Turning to his friend Tick Tick, he confesses the truth and seeks advice. Tick Tick, a wise elder of the tribe and great 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 grandfather of Tick Tock, tells Delay that accepting the white spear through a lie is not honorable and not the way of their tribe. So, Delay hands the spear over to him, determined to make things right. But when he confesses the same thing to Evelet, she becomes angry and leaves. The next morning, the old mother's prophecy becomes true, and the tribe is suddenly attacked by the four-legged demons, revealing themselves to be just horse riders. The demons tear the village apart and wreak havoc among the tribe. They also capture various tribe members, which they can use for slave work, while the leader of the demons, Warlord, notices Evelette and takes her for himself. Poor Baku can only witness his mother brutally being stabbed to death. When Delay finds out about this, he rushes to help fight off the attackers. But Tick Tick stops him, knowing that they are of no match against the evil attackers. So, Delay is forced to watch from the sidelines as his village is ravaged to pieces. He is even more heartbroken when he learns that the love of his life, Evilette, has been taken away. After the invasion, the survivors help the wounded, while Tick Tick, Kaoren, and Delay regroup and plan their next step. They are terrified of the four-legged demons, but also want to rescue their friends before it's too late. Hence, after a lot of thinking, they decide to pursue the attackers. Even Baku joins them, as he is now hell-bent on avenging his mother's death. As the group sets out on their journey, they discover scattered fragments of Evilette's necklace, reassuring them that they are on the right track. However, their path takes them through a treacherous forest, filled with dangerous creatures. It turns out the demons are also in the same forest, and as they are moving, a terror 
bird suddenly attacks them. One of the demons is instantly killed, but before any more damage is done, the leader quickly rushes them out of the area. Meanwhile, the lake covertly follows them and arrives at their makeshift camp. He is now waiting for the perfect opportunity to attack them. However, when Evilette is harassed by a demon member named One-Eye, Delay comes out of hiding and knocks him out. He immediately frees her and runs into the forest, where they come across the rest of the group. Unfortunately, before they can get far, the demons spot them and capture Karen. The situation only gets worse when the terror birds arrive and start attacking them. In the ensuing tussle, Tick Tick is badly wounded, so Delay decides to lure the birds away from the vicinity. He bravely takes them deep into the forest and kills them one by one. However, when Delay returns to his group, he finds Baku and Evilette being taken away by the demons. Delay also finds Tick Tick in severe condition, and so he builds a makeshift pallet to carry him along the way. At night, he treats Tick Tick's wounds and reassures him that everything will be fine. However, when Delay goes to fetch food, he accidentally falls inside a ditch, knocking himself out. Later in the night, it rains heavily, and the hole starts to fill with water. Suddenly, a thunderous roar jolts Delay out of his sleep. His eyes widen as he sees a massive saber-toothed tiger glaring at him with hungry eyes. Delay's heart races with fear, but as he gazes at the majestic beast, he realizes that it is suffering and in need of help. So, with cautious steps, Delay approaches the agitated Sabretooth and frees it. Surprisingly, the animal doesn't attack. Instead, it sniffs him curiously before bounding out of the hole to freedom. Delay also manages to climb out of the cave and returns to Tick Tick, finding out that he has regained strength. Tick Tick reveals that he heard an attack coming from the distance, and so the two head over to investigate. After reaching a deserted town, they discover some much needed food and devour it hungrily. But their feast is cut short by the unexpected appearance of a foreign tribe, who shockingly speak their language and launch a sudden attack on them. Just when all seems lost, the same saber tooth that Delay freed earlier emerges from the shadows, bearing its sharp teeth and roaring ferociously at the intruders. Everyone freezes in fear, but to Delay's amazement, the massive animal approaches him calmly, showing no hostility. As the tribe looks on in disbelief, Delay realizes that his act of kindness has earned him a powerful ally. Once the Sabretooth leaves, the foreign tribe finally lower their weapons and greet the two in peace. Later, the leader of the tribe, Nakudu, offers food to them and starts chatting. He reveals that Delay's father had passed through the town, but was taken by the four-legged demons. Following this, Nakudu leads them to a nearby cave which is adorned with ancient paintings. The paintings tell the prophecy of a savior, a man who can communicate with the saber-toothed tiger and lead their people to freedom. Now, it has become clear that that man is none other than Delay. We were waiting for Jason Momoa, but you will do. So, Nakudu immediately sends a messenger to the other tribes. He wants to prepare for an all-out war against the demons, but Delay is not so sure if he can lead them. The next morning, the messenger returns with some bad news. He explains that almost all all the other tribes have been invaded and ravaged by the demons. However, the ones remaining have agreed to fight for their freedom. It is then revealed that even Nakudu's tribe was attacked a few days ago, resulting in the capture of his son and the death of his wife. So, without further ado, he, along with his men, gather their weapons and leave town. They then unite with the other tribes who have come together to vanquish the evil demons, once and for all. After a grueling journey, the army makes it to a river, where they find numerous boats filled with slaves, including Evilet, Karen, and Baku. This gives them a purpose in their mission, especially Delay, who is now more motivated than ever. As the army cannot follow the boats through the river, Delay decides to guide them through the desert. Unfortunately, the plan turns out to be fatal, as after several days of walking, they find out that they have lost their way. The condition becomes so severe that many of them start collapsing due to dehydration. However, the army still doesn't give up and keeps pushing with all their might. Their hard work eventually pays off when they discover an advanced civilization, a place known as the Mountain of the Gods. They also find out that the people who were kidnapped are used as slave labor to build pyramids and other monuments. Yeah, yeah, right. We all know it was aliens who did that. The land is ruled by an enigmatic leader called the Almighty, who everyone fears as an untouchable and ruthless god. The same night, 
Delay, and Nakudu stealthily make their way into the slave cages. The plan is to rally their fellow captives and form a rebellion against their oppressors. Nakudu is overjoyed to reunite with his long-lost son, but Delay's heart sinks when he discovers that Evilette is being held in another castle. I mean building. As they try to gather support for their cause, a slave from another tribe steps forward and angrily protests, warning that Delay's recklessness will get them all killed. However, Nakudu has a surprise up his sleeve that leaves everyone stunned. He claims that Delay has the ability to communicate with the fearsome saber-toothed tiger, and that he is their only hope of freedom. Then, a blind slave steps forward and explains that the Almighty can only be killed by a person who has the mark of the hunter. As the conversation continues, Delay and Nakudu hear the sound of approaching guards, so they quickly make their escape from the slave cage. However, their escape is not unnoticed, and the guards follow them into the desert. Tick Tick arrives to their rescue and valiantly defeats the enemy single-handedly. Unfortunately, he succumbs to his injuries as well. Devastating delay. Later that night, the warlord attempts to assault Evilette, but he is soon discovered by one of the Almighty's priests. This leads to his arrest, as he took a slave without permission. The priest then notices the scars of Evilette's hands, and discovers the mark of the hunter on her, shocking him. Meanwhile, Delay finally gets over Tick Tick's death, that was fast, and accepts the white spear given to him. He then steps up and decides to form a rebellion with the remaining tribe members, and makes his way towards the city. The next morning, the tribe members blend in with the slave workers and prepare to attack the guards. Delay also reunites with Karen, uh, Ka Ren, and the two get ready for the first stage of their plan, which is to release the mammoths. And as soon as they do so, havoc ensues. This serves as the perfect distraction for the rebels, and they finally cause an uproar. Many guards are killed brutally, but some rebels also lose their lives, including Ka Ren. Just then, the Almighty comes out of hiding and threatens to kill Evilette if they do not abandon their rebellion. Left with no choice, Delay feigns acceptance, but then abruptly hurls his white spear towards the Almighty, killing him and breaking his illusion of brotherhood. Everyone is shocked to see him fall, and thus, all the slaves join in on the fight. Nakudu also joins in on the action and kills one eye by impaling him with a deadly spear. Meanwhile, the warlord tries escaping with Evilette on his horse, but she cheekily stabs him, causing them to fall to the ground. Delay runs towards her with relief, but before he can reach her, the warlord shoots an arrow through her back, fatally wounding her. Devastated by what he just saw, Delay rushes to the warlord and finishes him off mercilessly. He then holds Evilette in his arms as she slowly passes away. However, in a dramatic turn of events, she comes back to life. It turns out the old mother saw everything in her dreams, so she used all of her powers to reanimate Evilette. In return, however, she gives up her own life. That's okay, she was old. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, all the warriors and slaves gather around to celebrate their victory. The war is finally over. In the final scene, all the tribe members return to their villages and bid farewell to the Yagals. Nakudu hands some seeds to Delay, revealing that his father had collected them before he disappeared. Plant them, and they will grow you a new dad. This proves that the ex-chief did not abandon his people after all. Days later, the Yagals finally reach their village and plant the seeds. In no time, the place becomes filled with green and abundant food. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.